Oh, hello and welcome to my vlog. So, it's Simon's birthday today. So yesterday I decided I was going to hit Hobbycraft to try and find some ideas for his birthday. Kind of got the idea of some models, maybe something that he could put together because he's kind of got into matchstick, like making building stuff. And you know my love of yarn, I decided I was going to go and have a look in Hobbycraft. Now I thought it would take me ages to get there because it's in the centre of Leeds, but it didn't. I went the back way, it took me 20 minutes on the M62, it was brilliant. So here's me arriving into Hobbycraft and I've got to say it was like heaven for any crafters. I have been to Hobbycraft before but we're talking quite a number of years ago. Ellie was with me so it is quite a long time ago. So right at the front of the store there was like mini kits that are suitable for kids. There was crystal growing kits, hair bands, painting different kind of pots, science kits, more stickers that you could pros like possibly imagine. So many stickers. I picked up some matchsticks because Simon's been making things out of matchsticks. He's been making like a sailor a sailing boat. Uh, this is the wall covered in things that you can paint, pottery. Uh, this aisle was pretty much the sort of party aisle, if you like. Things that you can make, but for kids' parties. So again, stickers and things that you can sew, little things that you can make, but all for kids, really. Flamingo mobiles. And the prices were really good. It surprised me. I figured with it being in the centre of Leeds, it'd be quite expensive, but it really wasn't. It was proper good value. This was all the paints for kids as well. Lots more stickers, googly eyes. I did get some. You'll see in my haul later on. Lots of poster paints. I did notice that the floors were a mess. <laughs> All the carpets were covered in paint and were pretty much a mess. Painting by numbers, plasticine, lots and lots of colouring in. And again, the prices were really good. I was really pleasantly surprised. So card, different sizes of paper, lots of different colours. Cross stitch kits. Wait till I got upstairs as well. Lots of uh, feathers. I remember going to Hobbycraft years and years ago when Ellie was little and I made an owl outfit. More matchsticks, pom-poms pipe cleaners yeah as you can see the carpet was a bit of a mess this aisle was kind of cool this was like karma beads i don't know if you remember those as a kid aqua beads grow your own maze which was kind of cool we don't really have anything like this where i'm based so this is kind of the best that you can find so you have to travel into leeds for it Make your own robotic hand, crystal growing, nature lab, power lab, magnetic lab, science lab, slime lab, rainbow lab. This was the wedding section, so there was lots of things that you could use to make wedding invitations and for your tables. There was balloons, paper plates, things that you could stand stuff on, you know, like... um cake stands, bun stands, lots and lots of balloons and banners. What I really enjoyed, as you'll see as I go round, there was lots of ideas of things to do as well. So I'll show you out when we get upstairs. These were really good. I was very tempted with these. They'd be good for the shop to put sort of prices and things in. These Perspex stands. And you could either paint on them or stick things onto them. I 
I got one of those, the wooden slice. I thought it'd be good for Simon for his shop so he can make it into a sign. Lots of glass jars, more things for weddings, fake flowers, table centres, wreaths, lots and lots of crepe paper. Now I don't know if you guys have been to Hobbygraph before, but I would definitely recommend it purely because there's everything in one roof and the prices were really good, really good. Because in my local shops you can get some of the stuff that's in Hobbycraft but not a very big selection. This was the baking section, I didn't know there was going to be baking, but there was baking kits as well as all the cake making products as well. Sugar paste. These were individual crystals that you could actually make into bracelets but for £5 you can actually buy a bracelet for cheaper than that so it didn't make any sense to me to actually get some of those. This is all baking again so tins, cake stands. I'm now making my way over to the model section but he's a bit of a Star Wars fan and my idea was to get him a matchstick kit but you can't actually get a matchstick kit unless you can get it online but I couldn't really find one so I got a different kind of model kit instead there was so many to choose from and there's nothing like this where I'm based this was kind of cute so you could make tiny models and there was little grass and little trees and things like that trolleys which i bought a few weeks ago you will have saw me putting that together on a previous vlog stickers there was more stickers than you can possibly imagine lots and lots of buttons as well this was all a different colored paper this was kind of cool i didn't realize that they had this now this is vinyl wrapping so you could do designs onto mugs t-shirts or pretty much whatever you wanted to put the vinyl onto you could even get machines that would do it for you there was lots of gadgets I was very tempted by a few, but I was a good girl. I didn't buy any more stickers. I did contemplate getting a mini glue gun. I didn't in the end. I should have got one. Slate signs. This was all like adhesives and glues, including the glue guns, which were eight quid. I should have got one. So next time I go, I will definitely get one of those. Masking tapes, cellar tapes, everything sticky was on this aisle. Stencils as well. So if you wanted to do a stencil in your house. Design tools, lots more paper, huge selection of paints and canvases. This was sort of the art section. Paint brushes, paint sets, watercolours, oil colours, painting by numbers. It was pretty busy and I actually arrived at about quarter past three. So I thought that it wouldn't be as busy as it was, but it was really busy. I also got £2 off my entire purchase because I didn't have the app. So if I downloaded the app and got an account, I could have two quid off. And I thought, well, why the heck not? It's likely that I'm going to be back again. And apparently in the future, because I've got the app, I get 15% off every time I shop. Brilliant. So these were the models. I went back for another look. I was trying to decide the best one to get. 
There it is, that's the one that I chose, the X-Wing Fighter. £23, I didn't think that was too bad. It doesn't come with the paints, but everything else is pretty much in there. Magazine section, cross-stitching, crochet, knitting, all that kind of stuff. Now at this point, I'm looking to see if there's a lift. I couldn't find the lift, so if there is a lift in Hobbycraft Leeds, do let me know. This is at Crown Point, by the way, in Leeds, if you guys want to go and visit. So yeah, it's Crown Point in Leeds, and just outside there was Curry's and Home Base and numerous other kind of stores like that. So yeah, couldn't find the lift, so I ended up going up the stairs. Luckily, I was absolutely fine. I didn't get up out of breath. This was my favourite area for the entire shop. Now, I did go for Simon, but as you can imagine, I was proper in my element here. There was so many different types of sewing machines, all different sizes, and really good budget prices. And they have so many things within them as well, so it wasn't just like the sewing machine. You got uh, your spools in there, cottons, all sorts. Knitting machine. My gran had a knitting machine and I remember that sound that it used to make. She showed me how to use it. And look at the bee up there. I'm so going to have to make the bee. It's just brilliant. Looks like it's missing some eyes unless it's on the antenna. I don't know. <laughs> but it did seem to look like it was missing eyeballs. So this was ribbons and anything you can use to wrap around cottons, needles, more ribbons, buttons. I really like those multi-packs. I thought they were brilliant. And a pound each, that's really good value. I was contemplating getting one of those, those little canvas bags, but I didn't. And I was in the works today, actually, in Castleford, because we've done a few second-hand shops today, and I got one of those instead. So scissors, materials, pillowcases, duvets, lots of books, how to learn crochet, knitting, embroidery, tailoring. I tend to use YouTube tutorials rather than patterns. I struggle with them a little bit. So you've got all your cutting stuff here. So much material. Scissors, laces, pins, more bags. These were really good value just for a canvas bag, £1.50. Brilliant. And you can turn it into uh, another bag. What I've been doing is using it as a lining and then crochet in a bag and then sort of crochet it together. Macrame, I don't know if I said that right. It's not something I've ever really got into. If anybody knows anything about it, do let me know. This was the fancy stuff. So really pretty sewing bags, but they were all that little bit expensive. Now we're getting to the section where there was lots of kits. So punch needle kits, crochet kits, cross, sti cross stitch kits. I can't even say amigurumi. I quite like the latch hook kit. Uh, and they were really good value as well. Cheap. So if you just wanted to try it out, is a really good starting point instead of having to buy everything. I think the kits in here are the cheapest I've seen in any of the shops. Now I don't know what deco patch is, so if anybody knows, do let me know in the comments. Diamond art, not really a fan. I find it too fiddly. It just gets lost on the carpet and then you can't find it. It's always the same colour as the carpet as well, isn't it? And it's gone forever. This was the cross stitch section coming up. So there was cross stitch fabric, rings, so many threads. Now I know where to go if I ever need any cross stitch threads. They had such a selection. Okay, so now I'm reaching the yarn. 
It was really nice to see what they had available. Plus they had these offers like three for two. Now quite a lot of that yarn I've already got, but there was a big selection of cotton. I've never really been into cotton yarn yet, but I am gonna try it out. I did get some of the party time wool. I'll show you at the end which one I chose. Oh, you can see, look, <laughs> that's the one I went for. I got two of those. I don't really know what I'm gonna make with it, but I couldn't come and not have any. So I got two of those brightly colored ones. That one there, four pound each. I thought that was pretty good. It's actually cheaper than a lot of places that I've been to. Lots of baby yarn. And these were fantastic. So when I want to have a go at Amigurumi, which is basically toys made out of crochet, these were such good value. Little kits for like £4 and £10. A really, really good starting point and you get everything in the kit. So that's definitely how I'm going to get started when it's time for me to have a go. I do have some Minion kits but i haven't actually got around to making them look at that puppy oh bobby the puppy for a tenner brilliant love those and i think once you've made it once you've got the way of making it again this is all the cotton yarn on this side as i come round the corner it's all the crochet and knitting hooks knitting needles crochet hooks there's some really good value crochet hook sets as well so if you just wanted to buy a small set. Yarn bowls. I do have one. Don't really use it. I've also got one of those wool spinners. It's a brilliant buy. Now this was quite a mixture of different yarns. There was acrylic, actual wool and a few different ones. I do like this jewel spun stuff, but I'm not really sure of the marble effect. I think I'd have to try it out and see what it looks like. These were more kits, which I thought were genius. Knitting loom set. I remember having one of those as a kid. My dad made me a loom, actually, a square one with some nails so I could make little rugs and things out of it chunky size lots more sewing stuff zips even more yarn a three for two very good value some of the cheapest yarn i've seen to be honest sewing boxes really good value so many colors I was very taken by that one. That's a Women's Institute, soft and chunky. I nearly got some, but I thought, no, no, I've got loads at home. I don't need any more. We'll just take a little bit, something a bit different. Here's one of the trolleys. These are brilliant. I got mine from B&M, but they are really good. Yeah, I go back to the swirly whirly. I can't quite decide. I lay them on the side so I can have a look. I think I was more taken with the one on the left with the blue in lilac because the one in the middle is kind of like the colours that I already have in a cardigan that I've made so I think that would possibly be the colour that I would take that I'm holding now let me know what you thought do you think it'd make a nice hexagon cardigan this was so cool they'd use balls of wool to create an archway and just above there was this crochet circle almost like a dream catcher i so have to make one of those so this is the point i thought i best give it a rest now or i would end up bringing everything home but you'd be surprised what i actually bought i could have gone absolutely mad but i didn't i'll show you what i bought in a minute so all in all i spent 36 pound which i thought was pretty good and i did get me two pound off the customer service was really really good only thing i would say negative i couldn't find the lift as you have seen i have been round hobbycraft I very much enjoyed it. I was taking a break from making another um, crochet hook case. So this is my hobby craft haul. This is what I got. Right, so for Simon, because it's his birthday tomorrow, I've got two bags of matchsticks because he's very much into making matchstick models so i thought two bags of matchsticks i got this 
Yeah, I know. I know it's a wooden disc. It's literally a bit of a tree. But it was £2 and I think it'd be brilliant as a sign. So we can put, like, paint a sign on it for the shop. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. So I got that. I couldn't help but get me something. Now I've got too much yarn now. I don't really need any more. But it was really nice to look at what they had. So I got the Party Time Chunky. I'm really into the chunky size at the minute. So I just got two of those. And we'll give those a try out at some time. James Seabrett. They are by him. So I'll put those over there for now. I got this. Which is a bag of... Bag of Edward. Edward? Get out of the way. This is what happens when he wants out of the window. I got a bag of wiggly eyes. Now Simon used to get these all the time. We're talking quite a number of years ago though. And he used to stick them on everything at the studio just to make people laugh on pictures and things like that. There'd be Google eyes everywhere. So I thought that was just a cute little thing. So I got a bag of 25 googly eyes. And then finally, the main gift I got for Simon in my Hobbycraft haul, Star Wars, of course, I have got the X-Wing Fighter and it's a model. How cool is this? So it says, let's try to find the English, a very easy model construction kit of the most important fighter in the Rebel Alliance. The T-65 X-Wing fighter gets its name from its superimposed twin wings that form an X in combat to increase the pilot's, pilot's firing area. Can be built with or undercarriage, or with or without the undercarriage, movable wings. I think it's brilliant. It costs £23. I don't know why they've got these massive price stickers on, but that seems to be a thing in Hobbycraft. And I'm very pleased with it very pleased with it so i'm going to put them back in the bag so he doesn't see them because i've got to wrap them for tomorrow Shove that off there. so yeah i've got to wrap them for tomorrow because his birthday's tomorrow i'm going to finish this crochet hook case because someone bought one this morning you see so i need to make another one and Simon's gone to pick Liz up because Liz has been on a cruise for two weeks and she's on this coach that took nearly all day to get back. I think it drops everybody off all the way back from Southampton, can't say it, Southampton. Drops people off every single like stop. So she's nearly reaching the services which is near us. Ferrybridge services, I think they're dropping her off at. Um, she seemed to think it was the first, like the first starting point. So it could be the last stop, which means she's been on the entire time <laughs> just to get to Ferrybridge. But it might be even more. They might be carrying on, you know, up north or whatever to drop even more people off. I'm kind of glad that when we went, we went in the car to South Amsterdam, Southampton and parked the car there. Um, we got free parking, although we probably paid for it with the offer that we had um parking was included on money to spend on the ship so we went for the parking so yeah i think money on the ship was about 45 pound each or paying for parking i was like we'll just pay for parking done i think it was 45 or was it in total i'm not sure i'll be doing another cruise eventually once i can wangle liz or simon to watch alfie or something i'm desperate to go uh, so yeah, I'm waiting for Simon to get back. Our Chinese, as we do on a Sunday. And then tomorrow is Simon's birthday and it's all up to him. He can do whatever he wants. Now we did think about having a barbecue because he's not a fuss for people. He does have a bit of anxiety and he's, he doesn't really want to spend lots of time around people. So he said, why don't we do a barbecue? But it's rained all day today and it's going to shower tomorrow. So all depends on the weather. It's stopped now though. And the sun's come out, so it might make a difference for tomorrow. We'll see. So Liz is back. She says she's brought us gifts. I said you didn't have to. You really don't. She looks brown. I'm gutted. She goes, oh, do I look brown? Yes. <laughs> There's me, you know, white as a sheet. And she does look tanned. Where have you been? The Mediterranean. The Mediterranean. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the Chinese food. I'm normally in the conservatory when I do this. We're just waiting for Chinese food. 
Um, but we're trying to clear up and stuff, waiting for our food. So there's Liz's. Uh, it's beef chow mein and chicken fried rice. They've kind of shared it between them. Sam is just busy throwing it all off the table. And I've got prawn fried rice. Take some off. No. And we got prawn toast. Off, You're not having none, Tinky. So it's now Monday afternoon. Uh, we had a lovely evening last night, chilling out, watching a bit of television after the Chinese food. I wrapped all the gifts up, ready to give Simon. I gave them his gift this morning. We've done a few second-hand shops today because Simon didn't really know what he wanted to do with his day. So I suggested, let's do a couple of second-hand shops. Um, and we did Castleford for a change. Castleford's kind of rubbish, sorry if you live in Castleford, but it kind of is. But there was like five or six second hand shops open, so it was just nice to go somewhere different. So we did that today. I'm now back home, it's quarter past three. I'm working on the blanket for Liz now. She wanted uh, just a mismatch kind of using up yarn kind of thing. So I've started this and I've also got one to good, good. I've also got one to start for a customer that's multicoloured as well. But these are all different size yarns. So there's some that's sort of chunky, some are DK. So I'm sort of using these bits up. She just wanted multicoloured, really. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that Simon really enjoyed his gifts. But I did enjoy going to Hobbycraft to get them. Tomorrow, I am going to see Girls Aloud again. Uh, as you know, I went last week on friday night i'm going again tomorrow to sheffield i've also got the hospital tomorrow as well it's my first checkup since having the pacemaker fitted i think what they do is they connect you up to this ipad and they look at all the data and then they decide how they're going to connect you up regularly there's like a telephone thing that you can have at home which sends the information to the hospital or you can have an app so that's going to get sorted out tomorrow afternoon before going to see girls allowed tomorrow night so i hope you've enjoyed this vlog it's been a little bit different i did plan to have a vlog on sunday night but unfortunately lacked footage there was a bit of an incident after the girls allowed concert on the way out but everything's fine don't worry i'm fine alex is fine it's okay it just meant that i didn't have an awful lot of footage i did have plenty of footage of the actual performances though which i'm going to use for reactions later on uh, so i'm going to have another go on tuesday and then the vlog should be out on wednesday so thank you so much for watching this bonus vlog i'll see you in the next one bye loves